everyone, it's me, Jenna Ryan. Thank you so much for watching. This is Self Love You. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to tell if you have an equal relationship with another person. It's very important that your relationships be equal. Anything that is less than equal will, if, if you're on the receiving end of it, unless you're an abuser, Anything that's unequal, where one person is taking more than they're giving, where there's no reciprocity, where there's no symmetry in the relationship, anything that gets out of balance is going to end up being painful for you, the person who's watching this video, unless you're an abuser. If you're an abuser, you can kiss my beep. Anyway, the point I'm making is, is that you need an equal relationship. You need a relationship that's equal. One where you don't have to give your, your power away in order to keep the relationship alive. In order to keep the, the happiness in the relationship, you don't have to give up any part of your own self to make everyone happy. So how do you know if you're in an equal relationship? That is a really good question, especially if you are someone who grew up in an abusive environment where you were treated like a stepchild. This is the environment that I grew up in. And so whenever I came into adulthood, I wouldn't have been able to tell you what an equal relationship looked like because I'd never been in one. And then whenever I started, you know, in my young adulthood, I just kept getting in these unequal relationships. And really I had no warning signs and I, I felt good at the beginning, but it always ended up where I was being abused and I was being exploited. So I had to figure out what makes an equal relationship. How do you know the difference between a relationship that's unequal and equal? Well, besides obvious ways, like if you're being beaten, that means you're in an unequal relationship. If you're being abused, that means you're in an unequal relationship. So those are your obvious signs that you're in an unequal relationship. If someone is beating you, that means that you are taking their crap. You're taking on way more than what you bargained for. That means you're in an unequal relationship. And an unequal relationship will not work ultimately. One person has to give up themselves, give up their own feelings of pain in order to keep the relationship alive. If that is the case, if, if one person has to keep their feelings at bay and hold themselves back and not express how they feel, then you know you are in an unequal relationship. Now, here is the very, very secret to an equal relationship because you may be in a relationship that you don't know what's wrong with it, but there's just something not quite right about it, and you're just not sure why. Well, the, the two secret ingredients, or the number one ingredient to an equal relationship is the equal sharing and expressing of feelings. Both parties, it, both parties must be able and feel comfortable and free to share feelings openly without being afraid that the other person's going to leave, be freaked out, run away. Any, if, if either person in the relationship has difficulty or refuses to express feelings, how they feel at the moment or at any time, then you have an unequal relationship. The person who is not sharing their feelings and who is not basically not being honest is the one who has the power. And the one who is able to share their feelings is the one who is being vulnerable by sharing their feelings and therefore has less power. You have to have equal vulnerability in order to have an equal relationship. Both parties must be present and able to express feelings openly, good, bad, and indifferent, without fearing that the other person's going to lose it, going to be upset, going to not be able to handle it, or whatever the case may be. So that's the number one. If you do not, if you have someone who says, you know, I can't express how I feel, then that is saying, they're basically saying to you, I will not be vulnerable with you, which means I'm going to keep my power and you can do whatever you want to do too. Now, if you have two people who won't express how they feel, 
that's an equal relationship, but it's not much of a relationship at all. It, eventually, it seems like that one would drift apart. But if you if usually what you have is one person who will share feelings, won't share their feelings, and another person who's sharing their feelings and wanting this this person to share more feelings, and this person's not sharing any feelings and hogging all their own feelings, and they may say, "I don't know how to share my feelings," and that's that's not a good excuse. And if somebody doesn't know how to share their feelings, then really they don't know how to be in a relationship. They're basically, if someone tells you, I don't know how to share my feelings, then that person is telling you, I do not know how to be in a relationship. So you might as well shut it down and move on to someone who does know how to share their feelings and who will be open and vulnerable with you. A relationship is about two people who are able to express their feelings to one another. This means that if, if you... If someone in your relationship does something that upsets you, you have the ability and the freedom to be able to express how it made you feel and ask them to stop doing that. And then the person who is on the receiving end of that should be able to accept your feelings, accept that you're separate, accept that you have feelings, and adjust or change their behavior in order to not hurt your feelings anymore. And if they can't make adjustments, then it's time for the relationship to end. You don't just keep on going without that open dialogue. That is what relationships are all about, is open communication about the feelings that are going on in your heart at any given time. If you're unable to do that with a person, then you're not really in a relationship. You're, not, you're in something that's going to cause pain for you if you're the one who's sharing your feelings and the other person is not. A true relationship involves the equal ability to share vulnerability, to share feelings with one another. Anything less than that is abusive and unequal and will end horribly painful for the person who is being vulnerable and maybe even for the person who's not being vulnerable. But it can also leave you in a position where you're with a narcissist who's taking from you and who is extracting narcissistic supply from you because you're sharing all your feelings and they're not having any feelings at all. I don't know if anybody else has had issues with this, but this has been something that I've come across and something that I found out and I was like, whoa, that's so cool. You know, healthy people probably knew it all along. I just get to figure it out as I go. And this is what I've figured out. So a healthy relationship involves the exchange of feelings with one another. If you're with someone who will not exchange feelings with you for whatever reason, even if they have a good excuse, just know you're in an unequal relationship and it will not end well for you. And if you do stay in it, then you're going to hurt and it's, and it's going to be painful the entire time. Okay? I'm Jenna Ryan. This is Self Love You. Thank you for watching. Please share this with someone. Also, leave me comments. Also, like it and subscribe to Self Love You. Talk to you soon.